Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Come on into the reading nook. I hope you guys are having a great day. It looks like it might rain outside today, but that's all right. We're going to have some fun. We're going to sing some songs, and we're going to read some great stories today. All right, so first we're going to start with, a, with, our, with our hello song. Since it's going to be kind of dark and cloudy, I think maybe we should sing Mr. Sun. What do you think, Soph? Yeah? All right. You guys ready at home? Please sing along. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking me to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. There we go. Very nice. So, uh, I would love if you guys comment down below. Tell me the, your favorite song. What's the favorite song that we sing? Uh, what's been your favorite book so far? I would love to hear more comments from you guys. Remember, we have a special event tomorrow. I've created an event page for story time for tomorrow. So, I would love if you guys join that, that event. Leave me some comments here so I can make tomorrow's event the best one yet. All right, you ready? We'll sing one more song and then we'll read our first story. All right, you ready? I think we're going to sing Ink and Drum because I, uh, I know that I had some friends yesterday, Alexandra and Dan, who really love Ink and Drum and they also call me, hi Kendall. I you, said Ink and Drum. You said Ink and Drum, come have a seat with us, then you can sing Ink and Drum with us. But they called me yesterday because they told me that I was making a mistake in my, in my song. I was singing Le Chat Qui Miaule, but it's actually Le Chat Qui Miaule. So I was mispronouncing a word. So thank you so much, Alexandra, for letting me know I was making a mistake. And I'll make sure next time I sing that song to, to uh, sing it correctly. Oh, somebody wants me to sing Let It Go? I don't think that's going to happen today, at least. I need maybe a couple more weeks of practice. But we have time, so you never know. All right? So you guys ready? Let's sing a can drum. You guys gonna sing along with me? Are you guys starting to learn the words? All right. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was a can drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was a can drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his eyes were made of meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. His eyes were made of meatballs, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was made of cheese, cheese. Cheese. His nose was made of cheese, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was made of pizza, pizza, pizza. His mouth was made of pizza, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon. In the moon, there was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. There we go. All right, thank you so much. I hope you guys liked that one and the bouncing of the camera. That was pretty fun. All right, so you guys ready? We're going to read two books today. The first one is going to be a book called Claude All at Sea by Alex T. Smith. All right, here we go. Claude was a dog. Claude was a small dog. Claude was a small, plump dog. Claude was a small, plump dog who liked wearing a beret and a lovely red jumper. Claude lived with his owners, Mr. and Mrs. Shiny Shoes, and his best friend, Sir Bobbly Socks. Every day when Mr. and Mrs. Shiny Shoes went to work, Claude and Sir Bobbly Socks would get ready to have an adventure. Where will they go today? One day, Claude had been painting, and now he needed a bath. Sir Bobbly Sock said, uh, so uh, <clears throat> he knew all about these things. So Claude started, uh, stashed his paintbrushes in his beret, 
and turned on the tap in his bathroom. Then he went to find his bath toys. Downstairs, Sir Bobbly Socks busied himself with his knickknacks. Can he can have a seat, please? Nobody remembered the water until trip, trip, trip. It was too late. Whoosh went the water. Yikes went Claude, and he grabbed Sir Bobbly Socks and leapt into the bathtub as a huge wave carried them down the stairs, along the street, and into the deep blue sea. <gasps> Splash! Claude had never sailed a bathtub onto the ocean before. It was very wet and stunk in good fun. <laughs> Whilst Claude looked at all the splashy water, Sir Bobbly Socks busied himself reading some of the signs. They seemed to be jolly important and all about someone called Nigel. I wonder who Nigel is, said Claude. But before Sir Bobbly Socks could tell him. No, Daddy, Oh, you want me to read the signs? Okay, hold on. Important, read these signs. High risk of being actually gobbled up by Nigel. Yikes, watch out for Nigel. Be very careful. Watch out for Nigel. Be, beware, sea monster prepare, uh, operating in this area. Be careful, they don't gobble you up. This is Nigel. <laughs> A gigantic sea monster, called Nigel, and suddenly uh, had suddenly appeared and oh, gobbled them up. It was a very dark and very damp in Nigel's tummy. Claude was getting a bit scared and Sir Bobbly Socks' stitches started to quiver. When voices came from the darkness. Can you help us, Claude? cried Captain Poop Deck. <laughs> we must escape, shouted Cindy Seaweed. We're stuck, Squawked, <laughs> Barry the Seagull. Claude loved helping, so he hopped on board Captain Poop Deck's boat. He emptied his out his beret to see if he had anything useful in there. <gasps> he did. First, they tried the stepladder, but that didn't work. It was too short. We could climb out using the rope, said Cindy. It was a very good idea, but that didn't work either because it was in such a tangle. This is a disaster, cried Captain Poop Deck. We're trapped, gasped Cindy Seaweed. We're going to be stuck in here forever, yelped Sir Bobbly Socks. And ever, said Barry helpfully. Sir Bobbly Socks' knees knocked and he started to hiccup. Suddenly, Claude had a wonderful idea. If we give Nigel the hiccups, we might fly out and not be stuck in here anymore. Everyone thought this was a super idea. So they all grabbed a brush and started tickling. Out on the ocean, Nigel's stummy started to twitch and wiggle and jiggle until everyone flew out. Oh dear, said Nigel. I didn't mean to gobble you all up. I don't usually eat seagulls or people or dogs or socks. I much prefer seaweed sandwiches. The problem is, I just can't see very well. Claude wagged his tail. He could do some more helping. He quickly reached out into his beret and handed Nigel the enormous glasses he'd found in there earlier. Thank you, said Nigel. Now I'll never have to gobble up anyone ever again. Hooray for Claude, everyone shouted. By now, it was getting late and Claude and Sir Bobbly Socks had to get home. So they said goodbye to their new friends and promised to come back to play next bath time. When Mr. and Mrs. Shiny Shoes came home, they couldn't understand why their bath was in the kitchen. Do you think Claude knows anything about this? Said Mrs. Shiny Shoes. Well, let's ask him when he wakes up, said, said Mr. Shiny Shoes. Claude smiled a little smile. Of course he knew why the bath was in the kitchen. 
And we do too, don't we? The end. There we go. All right, did you guys like that story? It's pretty silly. All right, I have, we have one more story. All right, I'm gonna read this story right here by Robert Munch. It's called, I Love You Forever. <laughs> All right. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, that little baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old. And he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and he flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but at night, when the two-year-old was, uh, was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, that little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew, uh, uh, he grew until he was nine years old. And he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. Ooh, but at night, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she would pick up that nine-year-old boy and rock him back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she'd sing, I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, that boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends. He wore strange clothes and listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. In a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the monster opened the door to his room crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she'd pick up that big, big boy and rock him back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, that teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and he got a house across town. But sometimes, on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened up his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. And if that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and she rocked him. Back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, that mother, she got old. She got older and older and older. And one day she called her son and said, You'd better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. And when he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. So the son went to his mother. He picked her up and he rocked her back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And he sang this song, I'll love you forever, 
I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. <laughs> my mom, my baby will be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be the end. Did you guys really like that one? Moms, did you guys like that one too? I know that Nikki over here really loves that story. All right, guys. That's it for our, our story time today. I hope to see you guys all tomorrow at our special event. Please remember, like and share this video. Comment down below. I love hearing all your comments. It makes me so happy. All right, and we're going to sing our goodbye song. All right, you guys ready? Here we go, Kendall. You're not ready for a goodbye song? Well, it's time to sing the goodbye song. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause my friends are your friends and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. With Kendall and Sophie and Jaden and Adia, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you so much, guys. I love you very much. Oh, thank you, Kendall. And I will see everybody tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Girls, are you going to say goodbye? Bye. 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 Bye.